In order to hit the shuttle well, it is important to use the biomechanics of the body in an efficient way. This section takes some simple biomechanical concepts and demonstrates them visually with some examples. To generate power, players need to learn to use the large to small segments of the body in sequence. Note, having pushed off with the rear leg, the lower body, upper body, upper arm, lower arm and wrist contribute in sequence to the power of the final impact. To generate power, it is also important to preload the muscles. Put simply, muscles are stretched rapidly and the body's muscular and nervous system react to this, forcefully contracting those same muscles rapidly in the opposite direction. This effect can be seen during the backswing, then forward swing of all strokes. Whole body rotation is used a lot in badminton. These rotations can be used to generate force on strokes or to change direction when moving around the court. Upper arm rotation is a major contributor to racket head speed on both the forehand and backhand sides. Watch the upper arm of this player to see upper arm rotation in action. Lower arm rotation is also used to create racket head speed on both the forehand and backhand sides. This clip shows a forehand example. Bending and straightening is also important in badminton. There are many examples of bending in the backswing of strokes and straightening as you reach towards the shuttle on both the backhand and forehand sides. Watch the bending and straightening of the elbow on this example. Watch the bending and straightening of the wrist on this example. 